rappers at the time, Dana Brooks with her ass, I was like, it's over with. <laughs> this is done. You broke her shoulder with your ass? <laughs> and then it was funny as <laughs> Like, come on now. The face. And then we had Finn Balor yeah. versus Samoa Joe. Did was Finn still? I believe at this point Finn was still fighting off Samoa Joe. I think he won this match. Yeah. Let's see. We're going through the results, and the Demon is still champion. Cause I didn't think he lost it yet. He didn't lose it yet. I think he lost it. He was the Texas Chainsaw Master. I remember that. Yeah. Cause remember we kept picking at him because he was, uh, <laughs> at this point uh, Dean Ambrose. Was given a fucking chainsaw from fucking Terry Funk, mm -hmm. and at this point, uh, they were using the same chainsaw. Yep, he he took it from Dean Ambrose's room, <laughs> and he can brought it out there with him. He was like, "Bro, you have to give that back to Dean before." <laughs> and then after NXT and after WrestleMania, we go into Payback, and at this point. We're all just like how this AJ Styles lose to Chris Jericho. Yep, I was like, that was the only thing that we worried about. And how is this going to be resolved the next night? And the next night, AJ Styles became number one contender to the WWE Championship. Oh yeah, you remember that? I do. And that's when we got a series. I don't care what nobody said. A series, if not great, good. Fun matches between AJ Styles, Roman Reigns, the family, and the club. At this point, the Samoan, the two members of the, the Samoan dynasty was ambushed mm -hmm. by who the fuck we were waiting for for the longest. <laughs> yep. It was random as hell. They beat the hell out of the Dudleys, I believe. I'm <laughs> wrong. They beat the Dudleys? Did they beat the Dudleys? I feel like No, they, they beat the Usos. They literally beat the Usos. No, 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 no. The Usos. The Usos beat the Dudleys. The Dudleys. And yes. then they was all excited. And then who we see? We see we see <laughs> the good brothers and they just wrecked their ass. Yes. Literally. That's all yes. As quick as that, so I'm excited because I'm literally half sleep back here on this bed. And the next thing you know, I was like, "Oh shit! <laughs> fucking, fucking gallows! Fucking Anderson! Damn!" <laughs> they hit him with all their good signature moves, and it was just, it was, we were finally like, "Yes." And we had to talk about them later, later, later too, because they just at, at this point, this was their highlight. <laughs> this was their highlight. And then we had things from Payback now. This is the first pay-per-view after WrestleMania. So we have things like Dolph Ziggler versus Barry Corbin. This is the first match in a series of matches that lasted forever. <laughs> <laughs> then we had Kalisto versus Ryback for the United States title. I was trying to be Goldberg. True that. And then we had our first instance of Sami Zayn and Owens on the main roster. I can't remember this. They've had so many. You got to go back and pinpoint all their matches. And you, you just can't go, you know, all the matches. You got to go watch them again to see because they did something different in every match. And this is, is this the one where he killed himself? Or was that a little bit later? We was going for the uh, for the split leg moonsaw off the top rope to the outside. But the, the, the rope or his leg said, fuck it. <laughs> and he laid it on his neck, but Kevin Owens caught him. No, I don't, I don't remember this so Alright, okay, so. Uh, I don't want to read through the results either because, you know, forever. And then we have Cesaro versus the Miz for the Intercontinental title. That's cool. <laughs> and then we had the first match in the series of Dean Ambrose versus Chris Jericho matches, which ended in a horrible match. And then, and then we had. This, this match was short. This match was short. It was Charlotte versus Ric Flair. No, Charlotte versus Ric Flair. Charlotte and Ric Flair. Charlotte being accompanied by Ric Flair versus Natalia being accompanied by Bret Hart. And this match was short. And I was thinking this could be women's match of the year. Yeah. Because you had two second, third generation superstars going at it. Women. And they, these two are at the peak of their talent. This is before everybody was like, oh, Charlotte's developing. Charlotte's getting good. Charlotte is 
always been good. It's just been her persona, her portrayal, her confidence has just grown over the months. She's always been good. Yeah. So I was like, this could be women's match of the year, if not match of the year. But for some reason, because of the interference between Brett and Flair, it was short. That just hurt my feelings. <laughs> I was really thinking this could be match of the year. Or one of the matches of the year. Um, oh, and this is when... Oh, Payback was when he determined... When Vince was like, you know what? I want to shake things up again. And he was trying to pick who's going to run Raw and shit like that. And then we end off things with the first... Roman Reigns versus AJ Styles match. And I think, yeah, this is the one where AJ kept getting, like, he kept winning, but it was, like, because of the count out or disqualification, and then Roman Reigns finally won. But I really enjoyed this match. I think this one might have been my favorite out of the matches that they had. But I really, really enjoyed that match. What about you? I did, too. Because first of all, I wanted AJ to win the title. Oh, yeah. Skip that quick. Uh, what are we on? Extreme Rules now? Yes. So, this is... I remember is... this. I remember this. <laughs> oh my god, I remember this. You remember this? Oh, I don't remember this. All I'm gonna say is the slide. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I remember is the slide. That's all you need to know is the slide. The, the best slide ever and we compared everybody else's slide to that one? Yep. So Still ain't even compared to it. Still don't even stick. Don't stand a chance. It's not even worth so, comparing. So the kickoff show was no disqualification. Ziggler versus Corbin. This is something that we see on SmackDown every other week. Um, Let's keep scrolling. Let's keep scrolling. Excuse me. My computer is a little bit slow. You guys know this by now. But at this point, I'm like, just give, give, give Baron Corbin an intercontinental title. Please. Um. Let's see. Who are they fighting? I just need to see. Then we had the Usos versus the uh, the Good Brothers. You know, Carl and Gallows. Carl. The Usos. I mean, lost that. The Usos lost that. <laughs> I'm laughing. I'm laughing because this is when. <laughs> Rusev versus Kalisto. <laughs> this is when Rusev got his title back with the accolade, and I just remember, I just remember mm. watching him crank back, and then he was like, "Fuck it," and then he just cranked all the way back. <laughs> oh my god, that was great. That's that's how Kalisto was mm. And then we actually had a really really good tag team match between the New Day. Uh, this is Biggie and Xavier Woods. Do they versus the Bob villains? I remember this match because I was like, they can actually win this match. And then, oh, and then we had the fatal four way for the Intercontinental title. I remember this match. It was the Miz's champion, Kevin Owens, Cesaro, and Zayn. This was a good freaking match. It was. That was a good freaking match. <laughs> And then we had the this bullshit, the uh, first ever asylum match. You remember we had Misha Plant, a mop, um, uh, a broomstick, a kendo stick. I can't remember everything that was hanging up the ladder, up the cage. But this match was supposed to have been lethal lockdown WWE version and thumbtacks. I forgot about the thumbtacks. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Um, and then we had a rematch, uh, the submission match between Natalia and Charlotte. Another time I thought Natalia should just finally get a title again, but you know, she did. And then we had the other match, we had the Extreme Rules match between Reigns and AJ Styles, which was still a good match, but it was, I liked the other one better. Yeah, I liked that other one. Because it just had more twists and turns, especially watching it the first time. Live, it was like, oh, sh oh, snap, AJ's lost. Oh, uh, AJ won, but he didn't get the title. Oh, they're restarting the match. Oh, snap, AJ won, but he didn't get the title. 
damn it, Roman Harry. won. <laughs> oh yeah, and then yeah, he did, went for the phenomenal forearms. Yeah, and then the spear. Yeah, the spear. And that's what happened. It felt like how they say it this time. He wins by pinfall. In the quotation, it says spear. Yeah. <laughs> All right. And then at that point, that's when he slide. At. I can't remember who had the slide. I remember who had the slide. Seth Rollins, obviously. We didn't talk about Seth. No, that's what happened in, in, at Extreme Rules. I don't remember talking about a Seth match, though. It wasn't a Seth match. Roman Reigns won, and then... Seth Roman came Reigns, back. How you gonna act like you know what the slide is, and you don't know what the slide is? Because I remember talking about it. <laughs> I just can't remember who did the first slide. I remember, because that's when he had this new shirt. Because I had got the old, the, well, the new shirt. Then he came out with the Seth freaking Rollins shirt. At this point, <laughs> Roman Reigns wins the match with the spear, and who comes? Good old Seth Rollins comes sliding in the ring with the meanest look on his face, no blonde streak in his head, nice. brand new shirt, yep. and he takes out freaking, he takes out that, he takes out the one that he hates, Roman Reigns. Because he got, oh, that's hot, that's really hot, Thomas, that's really, really hot. I know it was a hot ass interruption. <laughs> it was. I'm sorry. <laughs> but I remember because everybody thought that Rollins might come back that night because he's coming off of injury from Kane. And he missed, missed WrestleMania. And I still blame Seth for injuring himself for trying to pick up Kane. <laughs> Even if he is in the corner. And but Rollins coming back at this point was a huge, huge boost to the roster because nobody was really feeling Dean Ambrose like that. I mean, he was up there at the time; he was the main eventer. But they were all like, "Okay, we'll take him over Roman Reigns." And then everybody wanted AJ to win, but you know, WWE at this time. So Rollins coming back with Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn and Dolph Ziggler and John Cena was injured at this time, wasn't he? Yeah. All of those people injured and Lesnar not being the main event because he's training for Mark Hunt around this time. It was just a bad situation for WWE and Rollins coming back was a big boost. A big, big boost. Actually, it would be a big boost and a big slide. A big boost. It was a nice slide right into the main event picture. <laughs> <laughs> Why did I click on that again? Oh, just to see when Reigns return. I mean, Rollins return. And then we go into Money in the Bank. Because this, this is when some real, real fuckery happened. This is when we had the quote-unquote shield triple threat. Oh, yeah. No, 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 no. This was the first quote. No, no, no. It wasn't. This was Rollins versus Reigns. Yeah. And then Dean Ambrose won Money in the Bank earlier that night and then cashed in on Rollins after he beat Reigns for the title. That was cray cray. Because I was happy for Rollins. I had my shirt on. I was like, yes, yes, yes. And then, oh, wait, that's Rollins music. What is Dean's music? I can't remember Dean's music. His music is annoying. <laughs> I don't like that. Okay. So we did. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> then we had Dean's music, and I'm like, oh, fuck. I was happy. <laughs> I'm not going to lie to you. I was happy. I was like, there we go. Somebody who you don't expect to win is about to win. Yeah, it was a transference of emotions what happened there. I was happy. Then we had Money in the Bank. So we are still pre-brand split I want to say yes we are this is like okay then we have money in the bank then we have battlegrounds which is the last pay-per-view technically of the like conjoined brands era so we had money in the bank which was the kickoff show the golden truth versus Brazango and Brazango deserves better than that for real the new DX needs to go ahead and give the new DX 
what they deserve. Mm -hmm. It's a fucking bush. So. Yep. It's okay. It's okay. And then, ew, the Lucha Dragons versus the Douglies? The ew. And the Lucha Dragons won. Ew. <laughs> <laughs> that, that don't need to come on. Yeah. And then we go into a... Why does it look like Johnny Mundo for a split? Just getting hit. <laughs> it looks like Johnny Mundo. But before we get to the Johnny Mundo wannabe, aka Tom Ziggler, we had a fatal four way match for the tag team titles. The New Day versus the club versus Enzo and Kaz versus the Bob Billings. We all know how they ended up. Then we have, for like the third time, whew, we had Kaz. No, 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 no. Corbin versus Ziggler. I was thinking about Big Cass from the last match. And in this picture right here, he kind of looks like Johnny Mundo with the hair flying everywhere. So, who won this match? Corbin with the end of days. Then we go into Becky Lynch and Natalia versus women's champion Charlotte and Dana Brooke. And this is around the time we're all wondering why is Dana Brooke with Charlotte? <laughs> And then this is when Natalia decides she wants to turn heel on Becky Lynch. Ew. <laughs> then we had Apollo Crews versus Sheamus. Ew. And Apollo Crews won. <laughs> At this point, this is when uh, Sheamus was like, ah, I'm tired of all these. Mad, he's a pirate, but uh, I'm tired. <laughs> he was tired of the new these new guys being called up, acting like they are all that. Yep. So he made a, he wanted to make an example of Apollo Crews, but apparently Apollo Crews he got to make an example of. And this one we has a match of the year contender: AJ Styles versus John Cena, <laughs> the phenomenal one versus the face that runs the face. <laughs> and this is the first instance of AJ Styles being great in the WWE. Yes. Because AJ Styles was like, I get to do what I want. <laughs> All I got to do is make sure John Cena can keep up. <laughs> okay. And then he won. How did he win with a stop? No, he won. Shenanigans. Shenanigans. The Styles, the, uh, the club ran in and, you know, fucked everything up for Cena. <laughs> then we had the Money in the Bank ladder match, which was won by Dean Ambrose. Uh, who was in the match? Let's see who was in that match. I see a Zayn. I see a Owens. Who the hell is that? I can't tell who that is on the picture. Oh, that's Dean. Yeah. <laughs> I see a Dean. There's a Cesaro, a Del Rio, and Ambrose. Ambrose won that match. And like I said, we had Reigns versus Rollins. Everybody... For who did you think was going to win that match? Reigns versus Rollins. Oh, Reigns. I mean, Rollins. You thought Rollins was going to win that Rollins. match? Because I felt it. Because somebody asked me. They was like, so you think one of my coworkers was like, uh, um, um, he was like, so who do you think is going to win? I'm like, Rollins is going to win it. Because first of all, Rollins is hot right now. Mm -hmm. And then I was like, Rollins got this thing wrapped up. And then he's like, no, I said, I don't, I said, and Dean is probably going to cash. Dean is probably going to cash. I didn't think Dean was going to cash in, but I knew Seth was going to win. Because nobody was feeling Roman at this point. No. Nobody's still feeling Roman like that. <laughs> I am the new dog. <laughs> yeah, that's, this, is when, this is when Roman Reigns started cutting stupid promos. <laughs> yeah. And he was just a victim of Kevin Dunn's writing and things like that, the production team. But Rollins won his match, and then Dean Ambrose decided he wanted to be, you know, Dean Ambrose and cashing. Yes, <laughs> yes, baby. Dean, baby. <laughs> oh, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. And then the last pay per view before SummerSlam was Battleground. Was this the first? Official pay per view of the brand split is the real question. I think this was a raw exclusive pay per view when it pops up. We will know. But how are you feeling about WWE? Oh no, we haven't got that far yet, so let me shut up. <laughs> so, 
Dean Ambrose is officially champion. Yes. How'd you feel? I was happy. You were happy. Yes. I wasn't. <laughs> I know you weren't, and I was like, you know, it's fine. <laughs> Rollins, you just have to figure it out. <laughs> that, that's how you know shit happens. Figure and I it out. And, and I thought he was. I thought he really was gonna figure it out on the next pay per view. I was like, they're not gonna let. This is just to shut the Dean fans up. This is just to have a big shake up. Like everybody predicted Rollins to win. You know, because nobody like Rain. So let's just, you know, hot shot Dean Ambrose real quick. Let him get the title and cash it in. Make, you know, first time ever. Because, you know, they, they like using that term. They, do. they like using that term. So, uh, Ambrose won. And I thought on the next pay-per-view he was going to get his life together. But you know what? Who didn't get their life together? Tell problems. <laughs> but you know who did get their life together, though? At this point? Breeze Angle, the new DX got to <laughs> <laughs> Did they get their life together? Because they beat Dusos. Did they? They beat Dusos. Whoa, they, they did. did. <laughs> that's when I was like, the new DX, baby. And then we had a tag team match. So I'm guessing it's Charlotte and Dana Brooks. Because that just, yeah, that Charlotte and Dana Brooks versus Bailey. And Sasha Banks, Bailey's on the main roster now. No, wasn't it Sasha, Sasha Banks? Banks is, had, it had a choice of a partner, and her choice of a partner was a uh, uh, what well, grown men was out there crying. True that. They heard Bailey's music, like even seeing grown men cry was hilarious. Yeah, because grown men crying over Bailey is still funny. And then we had, uh, if my computer would just cooperate with me. I think it was the New Day versus the Wyatt family. Yes, it was for the tag team titles. Was this a before or after that little, that, that Lucha Underground promotion? That, that Lucha Underground uh, cut they made. That jump was funny. <laughs> I can't remember. That, oh, are you talking about the... Uh, the motherfucking uh, Biggie having them tight-ass overalls. Oh, you talking about when they went to the uh, to, to the Wyatt compound. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think this is before. I think the next time... Oh, no, 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 no. This had to be the last match that they had for the tag team titles because, you know, they got split up and sent to SmackDown. Yeah, 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 you're right. Okay, so this is still a joint pay-per-view. But the Wyatts won this, but they didn't get the titles. Whatever. <laughs> oh, yeah. Probably shenanigans. And then we had... Braun Braun. Braun Braun. Then we had Rusev versus, oh, I'm about to say Rusev versus Lana. Rusev versus Zack Ryder. Woo, woo, woo. Yeah, we know how that ended up. Rusev won. Oh, yeah, of course. Ah. This is the match. <laughs> this is the match Sami Zayn almost killed themselves. Because <laughs> then we had Sami Zayn versus Kevin Owens for the last time. Yeah. Because this is the pay per view before the brand split. And I thought. Sami Zayn was going to smack now, and Kevin Owens was staying on Raw, but we all know how that ended up, but we'll talk about it. But this is the match where Sami Zayn went for that split leg moonsault off the top rope to the outside, and either he didn't get enough momentum, or his leg was like, fuck you, or the rope was like, fuck you, or something just bad happened, and Sami almost broke his neck. Oh my god. And his best and the funny part was his fucking best friend was a best friend. Yeah, it's just like, oh fuck storyline. <laughs> no, not my best friend. Right. So Sami Zayn won that match. That's what the the the, the double haluva kick. Mm, I just like when <laughs> And then we had Natalia versus Becky Lynch. Surprising. Natalia won that match. <laughs> Then we had, ew, Intercontinental Champion match, Darren Young. <laughs> We're going to make a break again. We're going to make a break again. Come on, coach. Come let me out there. Okay, let's go. Featuring Bob. Oh, featuring. <laughs> a company Bob Backlund versus the Miz. As long as the Marie, as long as Maurice has the belt, she, Maurice is going to be champion. Then we had uh, John Cena, Enzo, and Cass versus the club. Club, cool, baby. Yeah, the other one's the one, not the club. Not the club. Uh, then we had this horrible, like the worst highlight reel segment ever, featuring Randy Orton. 
Because I'm on KU out of nowhere. Which, that's what happened. And then we had the Shield triple threat match, which was, of course, Dean Ambrose, Seth Rollins, and Roman Reigns. And somehow, by hook or by crook, Dean Ambrose slithered his way out of this match and on to SmackDown Live as the W World Champion. Right. <laughs> so, before we take a quick little break, how do you feel about everything going to this point? Well, first of all, I was counting this whole... I didn't like this whole brand split. Like, oh, you didn't one, like the brand split? No, I didn't point. like the idea of the brand split. I okay. was like... Because the first time it happened, the same junk happened. One right. show was better than the other. And it was always SmackDown better than the Raw. Yes, <laughs> always. Because at this yeah. point, you remember back in 2004? Mm-hmm. Um, when they did the brand split, they had Kurt Angle, Brock Lesnar, and Big Show back when it was good. Yeah. <laughs> At this point, mm-hmm. they had those three, and then they had the the the, girl, the world's greatest tag team on there, and they were the champions. Right. At I this point, that. that's when they had when uh, Kurt Angle, uh, the amazing heel, <laughs> had Team Angle, and that was the world's greatest tag team. Yeah. So, and at and, I, and at that point, even before when they first did the bl- the brand split, they uh, put The Rock on there, and the even though The Rock got crushed by Brock Lesnar, there was some really good matches that came out of SmackDown back then, too. Yes. And then you got to think about all the superstars that were created because of SmackDown, like Edge, John Cena, yeah. uh, you know, Undertaker defined his career on SmackDown by being a staple of SmackDown. Yep. You, like you said, the world's greatest tag team. There are so many people that got their Carlito. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Eminem. Uh, who else? Just, and at this point, this is when Los Guerreros blew up. Yep, Eddie Guerrero. Yeah, and then that's when he blew up, too. Mm-hmm. Even, even, was it Chris Monroe SmackDown? Yes. First? Yes. SmackDown was, SmackDown creates superstars, and Raw is where they die. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, and remember, if y'all don't remember, I'm going to quote this again. This is the quote of 2016 for me right here. SmackDown has always been Tory Lanez. They asked SmackDown. They, they asked SmackDown. That's Shane. If you could say one, if we're going to name one, we're going to name one promotion, one brand. You say the first thing that comes to your mind. They said, Raw, Shane said, I'm better. And I think before we go into SmackDown, I mean Survivor Series and the rest of the year up until the second fast lane, which happened earlier this week, we're going to take a quick break just for our sanity. Thinking about all this wrestling, got to check my phone. It's been an hour now, so, you know, we'll be back for the second half of this. I guess it's going to be a four-part series if they're all going this long, so see you in a second. 